Will nostalgia be the end of us? Let's talk about this growing genre of horror. It's no secret that nostalgia has been one of the most powerful forces behind trends over the last few decades. With the now fading Y2K revival and the upcoming 2010s resurgence, it feels like we're stuck in a loop, endlessly recycling culture without any real signs of progress. Depressing, yes, but terrifying, not until now. Characters from our childhood are being corrupted, giving rise to a new wave of eerie content. We've seen it in film with Steamboat Willie and Winnie the Pooh making their chilling debuts after entering the public domain, in advertising like last year's nostalgia-coded Grimace birthday campaign, which audiences online hijacked into a viral horror moment, and in new content genres like dark fantasy, where creators use AI to transform childhood classics from Pocahontas to Spongebob into 80s dark fantasy movie scenes, with millions of videos and many going viral. This this ties into the current wave of IP reinvention driven by AI, where tools like creators distort source material beyond its canon, twisting the once familiar into the uncanny valley. But as we enter this new era of terror, we can't help but question, are we reimagining these childhood characters to unlock fresh perspectives, or is this just another sign that we're being haunted by the past?